Howdy. I'm back with a, another uh, carbon felt experiment. I've been playing around here trying to uh, split this carbon felt with a razor blade. And you can do it, split it in half, but it takes a while. It took me like 15 minutes to peel that in half. And the one piece is, is a little that a little thicker than this one. Now that I've got a thinner piece, try to make another battery out of this and uh, see how it goes. So let me uh, get set up for that and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Now for a change of pace, let's uh, try a quick battery method. So here's our little piece of carbon felt. I'm going to dip it down into borax water. And, uh, I'm going to squeeze out the excess to dry it, sort and dry it. All right, and now let's take some uh, white glue and titanium dioxide, and we're just going to treat it just like it's a thin film on here, and spread this over the surface. Ain't the prettiest thing in the world, is it? But it does have a coat on it. And then... Let's uh, take a drop of borax water here. And rub over the top of that. Kind of finish it off fast. set up really fast and spreads it out a little bit too. Alright, so that'll set up real fast now and we can just flip it over and uh, do the other side. I'm going to uh, give it just a couple of minutes here so it don't stick to the wax paper and then uh, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back and this side here is uh, real stable, see, not sticky at all. So let's flip it over and then I've got some uh, graphite and uh, glue mix here and it's thin enough that I think we can pour it in there and sort of fill the fill the felt paper up with this, I hope. So we'll, we'll pour some in there and uh, yeah, it is soaking in. side yet. Ooh, well I just missed there. Let me get that over there. Out of the way for it runs around on the bottom. Already. <laughs> Alright, well we've got a lot in there. Let's let that set up a little bit and uh, I'll come back and we'll see. Alright, I'm back. Let's put her together and see if it works. I have no idea whether this will even work at all or not. I've never tried it before. I don't know. But you never know unless you do try. So that's what we do. There's plenty of water in it. We don't have to worry about it being too dry. Got the carbon ran into the titanium on this side, but we'll see if it works. Alright. Let's see if we get anything out of it. And huh, 64. And it's doing the same thing as the uh, as the thin film paper ones. It dropped a little bit, although it looks like it's going to hold right there, doesn't it? So 0.369, and we just went back to 0.64. This will be interesting to see how much 
voltage or amps we get now. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, look at that. That's not bad. I mean, that's still fairly thick. But it was uh, eight point something. And let's, uh, let's cycle it a few times and see if it improves just like the, the other ones did. Let me get a piece of paper and write this down and I'll be back. Well, let's jump back up to voltage uh, real quick. As a matter of fact, now it's climbing even higher. We're up at 0.679 and it's on a, on a pretty nice little uh, climb. So uh, I'm going to give it uh, another couple minutes and we'll see how high it goes. So far, so good. Alright. It's still on a slow climb. We're going to test it at uh, 0.723 or something like that. Alright, here we go. And 3, 2, 1, 12. Alright, it's doing exactly the same thing as the thin film. Alright, back again. This is pretty quick and we're now at uh, 73 2 3 and still climbing just a slow steady climb but uh, we're a little higher so I'm going to check it again it'll be about 74 by the time we get there so. Here we go. In three, two, one. Twelve again. A little over. Twelve, two, maybe or something. And uh, this time we're at, uh, say, 74. Alright. Now, the next time, hopefully, takes three or four cycles and then we'll see. We should shoot a jump. Alright, back again. And voltage is still climbing. So 0 0.75. We'll, we'll test it there at 0 0.757. Alright, here we go. In 3, 2, 1. 13 that time. So it looks like in this case we're going to get just a slow climb in the and milliamps on that and that was seven five seven this is ideally what we should see the uh, the paper thin film ones do except uh, at a much higher voltage or a much higher uh, milliamps I'll be back when it climbs up again alright back again and again we got another increase in and bolts we're up to 76 76 8 all right we're going to go with 77 1 it's slow right there 0.771 all right three two one that was climb jumped up to 11 Alrighty, I'll be back again. Alright, we're back again. And we've got another little increase in voltage. We're at 0 0.778. Right now, 9. And it's probably going to stop again right there. 781. Alright, here we go. Uh, three, two, one, fourteen, two. Uh huh. So we had another increase. All right. It's gonna. It looks like it's gonna do pretty good. And it's just gonna keep on climbing. So we'll do it a few more times until I run out of time, and then uh, we'll stop. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. All right. Back again. And this time we're a little over seven, 
0.79 just getting ready to jump flop to 792 all right here we go 0.79 one three two one 14 six or something that time right 14 something I think it was six all right and we're at point nine seven nine one it's still climbing up so uh, looks like we this is a pretty good method to me simple anyway all right back again and the trend continues we're about at point eighty now all right point eight oh two I think so we dropped down a little bit but anyway there there appears to be cycles there one battery had peaked on the fourth the eighth and the twelfth every four all right I'll be back one more time all right we're back for the ninth cycle and again we have another increase in voltage we're at 0 0.808 all right 181 but it didn't quite get back to 14 all right we're back for number 10 and you can see that we're almost at 0.82 there's 0.82 right there let's just measure it at uh, 0.826 Looks like it's peaked to me, and it's going to hold around 14 milliamps. That's what it looks like. So this this battery here, I think, uh, if you had some thinner uh, carbon felt, you can get these plates closer together. You can you can get better amps out of that. It used to be a pretty easy uh, easy way to do it if you had the right carbon uh, carbon felt. All right, and I'm back one more time. I uh, plotted the power for this one, and what I, I multiplied the volts times the amps there, and I came up with the watts, a uh, milliwatt figure, and I got the cycles down here across the bottom, and the milliwatts going up the side, and, and there's the data points for on that, and uh, as you can see, it uh, it's clearly uh, gaining in power as uh, as you cycle it. So now I don't know where that uh, cycle is going to peak at or how many cycles it's going to take but uh, now the only logical rationale I can come up with for the increasing uh, power uh, every on the cycles of this uh, would be uh, the oxidation that's going on uh, at the metal plate I mean since there is no there's no electrolytes involved in this but the oxidation on the metal plate is creating zinc oxide and that is a, w another semiconductor that's working with then the titanium dioxide to, in to increase the power I, it looked like the, uh, the power increases uh, until the oxidation get too much oxidation on the plate and then, uh, then it drops off again alright thanks for watching and I'll see you next time